Thanksgiving is just three weeks from today, and we've all seen lots of holiday ads and items in stores already. Yes, Christmas aisles all over yeah. the place. If the holiday creep feels earlier this year, might be for good reason. Experts say supply chain issues could make it tough for you to find some items. KSHB 41 News reporter Dan Cohen went to two stores in the metro who are both handling, handling delays in different ways. Nebraska Furniture Mart is unpacking for gifting season. If it seems early, there's a good reason this year. We are uh, suffering from product delays. NFM told us compared to a normal year, they're down 10 to 15 percent. Electronics and furniture delays continue to impact the KCK store. Supply chain speed bumps are to blame, and it's not just one link in the chain. At times, it would be the factory that was shut down due to COVID, and then it was getting people to get the trucks and ship it here and uh, get it unloaded and things of that nature. So it's just different touch points that are being impacted at different times. That's the impact on a big retailer. On a smaller scale, Brookside Toy and Science owner Holly Pollard prepared holiday orders months ago. There is nothing scarier, no thought scarier for me to think of a toy store that doesn't have toys for Christmas. I have orders that I placed in April and May and half of it showed up right away and the other half has been back ordered and I may not see the rest of it this year. Pollard gambled early on to make sure her shelves were stocked with orders sometimes five times larger than normal. Those bills come in and the stuff is still here. I haven't sold it. I haven't made the money back to to pay for it yet. So I've been using um, an SBA loan from last year that my husband got us and um, that's been the financial way that's been been giving me the ability to to fill the store. It's an uphill battle for everyone with less than two months until Christmas. As stores try to get out in front of delays now, they're urging customers to do the same. Shop early and in person. If there's something that you need by a hard date, I do strongly encourage you to get something we do have in stock. Get into a store, preferably local. Get the thing off the shelf because if you don't have it, you cannot guarantee that you're going to get it. And when you do shop in person, be patient with us. We're trying to communicate um, as we receive updates to our consumer. Try to be open minded about it because we may not have that one thing they want. But what we're good at is being able to show you other stuff that that kid would love. Now here at Brookside Toy and Science, they told me that they're focusing on games and puzzles that have staying power, like items that can be used multiple times. And at Nebraska Furniture Mart, electronics, bicycles, and power tools are, be are still popular during the pandemic for stay-at-home activity, work, and projects, Ray and Lindsay. As my kiddo loves the store that Dan's at right now, for <laughs> sure. So, Dan, what surprised you in your conversations with these two store directors, though? When I was at Nebraska Furniture Mart, the thing that really stood out is that they're actually increasing the number of power tools that they're bringing in because those do-it-yourself projects and those stay-at-home projects are still popular. And here at Bookside at Toy and Science, just hearing about how much she ordered and that it's still on the shelf, she's still paying for those orders that haven't been purchased yet. And yet, she also said that there are still delays, and you heard it in our report, She's still waiting on stuff to come into her store as the supply chain continues to have issues during the pandemic. Mm. Dan, thank you very much. Hopefully our local store owners get a break and yeah. some good business this season. Now we want to 